Hey guys, Vintech here. Today we're going to be doing a comparison of the 21 and a half inch and 27 inch iMac 4K and 5K models. So first up we have the 21 and a half inch 4K screen model. Um, this one is pretty much identical to the 27 inch. There's only a couple differences which we'll get into later, but for now let's do the similarity. So the first thing is the same is all the ports. We have a headphone jack, a SDXC card slot, four USB 3.0 ports, two Thunderbolt 2 ports, and an Ethernet port. Um, on the back here also we have the power port and the lock where you can lock it to a table. Um, we, here's our vents and one massive difference is no upgradable RAM slots. So that's a disappointment. So if you're gonna want RAM you better get it when you buy it. Anyways we also have contoured power button for easy access. Now the grill in the front of the Mac is a beauty. It is very well hidden which is also I do believe it's intake and the speakers which these speakers sound pretty good and uh, they also very well hidden. So thumbs up for those things. Um, on the top here in the back we have the Apple logo which is non-metal so it allows all the radio frequencies in and out of the device. Also on the top, the very top, we have two du uh, dual headphones, uh, one in the back and one facing upwards to capture your sound very well. Um, so here is the device, side view, and it only gets down to like 5 millimeters thin on there. Uh, 720p camera, it's not the worst, but it's definitely better than the 480 on the MacBook. So next we're up to the 5K Mac, which this one is a little bit more specced out. This Mac is my daily driver, so I went ahead and I bought the best one I'll show you, which we'll go over later. Um, but same exact design, everything is the same except for, of course, the screen size, screen resolution, and the RAM slots, and a couple internals. But same ports, headphone jack, SDX card slot, four USB 3.0s, two Thunderbolts, and a gigabit Ethernet. Uh, there they are again, which I don't use any of the Thunderbolts at this moment but I will be getting some displays in the future. So there you see the RAM door which on this thing I only got eight because I'm gonna buy a third-party RAM and upgrade it cheaper so I'll do a video on that later but definitely something that's helpful. So again we have the Apple logo which is just the same exact size and it allows for all the radio frequencies in and out of the metal shell because they can't make it through that so they use the Apple logo which was pretty smart. Again, dual microphones, one on the top of the device and one on the back of the device. Panning around the device, we see all of our I.O. ports, our plug, and our Kingston, Kingston something like that lock so no one can steal it, along with our contoured power button for easy feeling around the back of the device. This device is a little bit longer, wider, taller, everythinger. It is 12 pounds heavier, weighing in at 27 pounds. Um, this speaker here is the same exact thing, except they did a, again, great job on these. They're pretty much identical, except it's a little bit longer, the grill is. At the top, again, we have our 720p camera with that little LED light to show if it's being used or not. So that's another identical feature. Next up, we're going to be doing a boot test to see which of these two devices boot up quicker. Uh, 27 inch here, 2 terabyte fusion drive, and 4 gigahertz processor boots up in about 17 and a half seconds versus I think a 3.2 gigahertz uh, i5 1 terabyte fusion boots up in about 15 seconds. Not a big difference there. So next up we're going to go into all of our little overviews and displays and on our 5k Mac we have 4 gigs Intel Core i7, 8 gigs of RAM, and the AMD 2 gigs of dedicated graphics. 5120 by 2880 screen, which is, like, amazing. Storage on this thing, like I said, 2 terabyte Fusion Drive, which I'm not using too much right now, uh, except for that other. I don't know what the heck I have in other. But again, 2 are empty, which I'll be upgrading everything to 8 gigs, and I'll be maxing this out at 32. On our smaller 21 and a half inch model, we have the 3.1 gigahertz i5, 8 gigs of RAM, which you cannot upgrade, and Intel Iris Pro Graphics 6200. Our 
graphic or our uh, screen resolution is 4096 by 2304 which is also stunning and we have a one terabyte fusion drive installed in this so we're going to use the black spit the black speed black test magic test designer speed test disc and uh, we'll see that we get about here we have about 170 in the right and six, 550 in the readish and actually maxed out at 187 in the write speed and 547 in the read speed. Um, on our 21 and a half inch Mac, starting the test, we get about 300 in the write and about 784 in the read. So you'd think that the 5K would do better as it's maxed out more, but it actually didn't. So on this, we ended up finishing with 244 for read, write and 704 for read. So that's a little bit surprising. So I did a Geekbench score on them too, and on our 27 inch we got a 4,008 single core score and a 15,532 multi core score. Versus the 21 and a half inch we got a 3,402 single core score and 11,412. So slight gains in the more powerful 27 inch. Now I'm going to be exporting an 18 gigabyte, I think it's 18 gigabyte file onto a drive. And uh, I'm going to skip this because it took it quite a while, but we'll come back to it. And I put it on a USB 3 drive. Don't worry. It's like up to date. So seven minutes and three seconds later, our 21 and a half inch finished, which is eh, kind of long. Um, I did it on the 27 inch model, which I'm hoping some of that hyper threading and four gigahertz quad core i7 might kick in and help out. And you'll see that it did help out by a long shot, finishing at 4 minutes and 11 seconds. So definite gains in exporting videos. So the 21-inch Mac I bought had a 3.1 gigahertz quad-core Intel Core i5, Turbo Boost to 3.6. It had the standard 8 gigs of RAM, but I did make sure I got the 1 terabyte fusion drive because I didn't want to rely strictly on that 5400 RPM. I got AppleCare, which I will be putting on in a different video. As for the bigger 27-inch Mac, I went with the more specced out model, which I then upgraded the, to a 4 gigahertz quad-core i7, which turbo to 4.2 gigahertz. I went with a standard 8 gig since I'm going to upgrade it later, and I made sure I had that 2 terabyte fusion drive with the 128 gigabyte flash drive inside of it also. I got the regular standard graphics and I got the regular magic mouse. So I ended up paying $2,464 for that. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I tried to focus on why you should buy uh, what product. And I mean, I think that if you have the money, go with the 5K because it not only does it have a faster GPU, uh, uh, CPU, uh, storage, RAM, uh, RAM's the same, but it's upgradable, this one is, this one you're stuck with what you get, so there's a bunch of things putting this one in the lead, but at the same time, it's $800 more for the one I bought here than the one I bought here, and I don't know if, if you have $800 to spend like that, so just uh, go with what you can buy, that's all you can do, is go with what you can buy. So, um, of course, if you have the money, go with the best thing you can buy. Spec it out because you're not going to be able to change much except for the RAM. And that's only if you get this one. This one, pretty much a brick. It, you, can't, you can't add anything onto a brick. So, don't, uh, don't go with something that you're going to regret. And uh, I hope this was helpful. So, if this was helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next video.